I am stronger because I had to be. I am smarter because of my mistakes. Happier because of my sadness and now wiser because I learned. Hello and welcome to Rabbi Rashi Foundation. Aaj hamare saath hai Dr. Satyan Sharma. He is a psychiatrist and finished MBBS from AFMC Pune. Has treated more than 10000 addiction patients. Runs a hospital in Patiala. I would request Dr. Satyan to please speak and tell us a little more about yourself. Over to you. Okay. So Rashi, uh I am by education and training a psychiatrist and uh, by passion and interest I like teaching per se as 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 I feel that teaching is probably uh, one of those professions which is the most important and unfortunately one of the most neglected right now you know the health of any society can be gauged best by the way it treats its teachers and uh, so my passion is to try and understand concepts and then try to teach them because as as the saying goes you teach best what you most need to learn right so to to make my own concepts of life and other things clearer i i try to teach whatever little i have learned and uh, the human mind and the most complex object in the universe the human brain is where i try to find answers and i try to work i work as a psychiatrist which means mostly i deal with mental health issues with mental illnesses their treatments and their managements yeah so it's it's an exciting field it's an evolving field and i think uh, in the current times it is becoming more and more relevant to every human being on the planet that's wonderful uh, dr So doctor what is the real meaning of this statement finding personal happiness for women jo aaj hum ka topic hai iske bare mein bataiye please ab ye jo topic hai you know it it may be misconstrued as why women so everybody needs to find personal happiness so why why are we talking specifically about women because i believe and the, the point in time when we chose this topic I, I firmly believe that women in our society are given a raw deal. You know, even when we so-called equality is given to women, uh, it is not very fair to women because equality means that they are allowed to work, but equality does not mean that their household duties go down. You know, so men usually, I mean. With, with all due respect to the modern men who are doing it, because I know there are quite a lot of them, and uh, I, I I really appreciate what they are doing in the right way. It is the right thing to do. But as women started stepping out of the house to start finding work, their household duties did not go down. Yeah, and the society's expectations, the society's the whole burden of of uh, you know. uh of of uh, making the society feel good about itself is on the women you know while at the same time they are not paid equal wages they are not treated in the same manner and at the same time they are they are expected to juggle multiple roles so the modern woman i think finds herself in a situation where she needs to start thinking about herself instead of her trying to value her own good her own worth according to how she treats other people are ye bahut achhi mother hai are ye bahut achhi wife hai hai na are ye bahut achhi employee hai but ye khud apne liye kya karti hai making herself the priority has never been the scenario so i think it is important at this point in time to be talking about personal happiness for women that's uh, wonderful what you just said dr satyan लेकिन जब जब हम छोटे होते हैं ना तो हमारी कंडीशनिंग ऐसी बचपन से होती है कि अच्छा अभी रुको अभी ये पहले हो जाए ऐसे करो सो यू नो वो कंडीशनिंग को चेंज कैसे करें बिकॉज बहुत सालों तक वही कंडीशनिंग रहती है फॉर एग्जांपल आई वुड पर्सनली लाइक टू टेल यू जैसे 
अच्छा रुको अभी अभी तुम्हारी शादी होगी तो तुम फ्री हो जाओगी यू नो फिर फिर अच्छा शादी होते ही बोलते हैं कि यूल हैव किड्स नो फ्री हो जाओगे फिर अच्छा ट्वेल्थ होने दो बिल्कुल फ्री हो जाओगे फिर कॉलेज हो जाए अरे अब इनकी शादियां हो जाएंगी ना तो तुम बिल्कुल फ्री हो जाओगे बाय द टाइम इट इज टाइम यू ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी फाइव और फोर्टी एट सो वो तो कंडीशनिंग इतने सालों की वो कैसे चेंज होगी डॉक्टर साहब ये आपकी ऑब्जर्वेशन बिल्कुल ठीक है कि उनकी जो लाइफ है लेडीज की विमेन औरतों की वो हमेशा उधार पे रहती है कि इट विल स्टार्ट लेटर ऑन यू नो एंड इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द कंडीशनिंग व्हिच यू वेरी राइटली सेड कि हमारे ये एक ओवरऑल म्यूचुअली अग्रीड अपॉन सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है कि ये किया जाएगा एंड नो बडी इवन क्वेश्चन इट है ना मेरे हिसाब से जो जो मेच्योरिटी की डेफिनेशन है वो ये है कि व्हेन यू हैव आउटग्रोन योर कल्चर व्हेन आई से आउटग्रोन इट मींस व्हेन यू कैन लुक एट योर कल्चर एज एन आउटसाइड एंड क्रिटिकली इवेल्यूएटेड एक ये भी अनफॉर्चुनेट बात है कि हमारे यहाँ एजुकेशन सिस्टम में भी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग नहीं सिखाई जाती एंड आई थिंक दैट शुड बी मस्ट यू नो क्रिएटिविटी एज वेल एज क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग नीड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द करिकुलम in fact our education systems don't have don't don't encourage you to question right we are usually told yahi hai samajh lo aur ratta maro aur aage chalo so that part how do we address this cultural conditioning is number 1 by outgrowing it making yourself aware about it and then finding ways and means to address it meaningfully very uh, insightful that was because tell me dr satyan Uh, women are struggling during this lockdown they have struggled more mentally mental health effect ladies ka zyada hua hai because sab log hi ghar pe the bahar nahi ja pa rahe the workload bahut bad gaya tha to you give us some quick solutions ki ab jaise thoda thoda unlock hua hai to apne emotions ko kaise release kare kaise free feel kare mentally right i think मेंटल और इमोशनल लेवल पे तो बात नहीं जाएंगे सबसे पहले तो फिजिकल लेवल पे हेल्प की जरूरत होती है लॉकडाउन हुआ घर के अंदर डोमेस्टिक हेल्प का आना बंद हो गया और किसी की लाइफ पे ज्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ा बट द लेडीज लाइफ इज गॉट यू नो सेवरल टाइम सेवरल फोल्ड मोर बिजी है ना एक अच्छा काम जो इसके अंदर किया जा सकता है एंड आई एडवोकेट दिस अक्रॉस द बोर्ड फॉर मोस्टली फॉर बॉयज यू नो आई टेल देम दैट Uh, the purpose of or the goal of human life should be towards moving towards emotional and financial independence right for for irrespective of your sex whether you are male or a female ye bahut acha time hai bachcho ko kitchen mein involve karne ka especially if they are boys main bahut baar ladkon ko kehta hu jo kai baar mere chamber mein milne aate hain ke bhai tum kuch cooking seekh lo नहीं तो तुम किसी लड़की के सहारे रहोगे सारी उम्र के वो ही कुक करके खिलाएगी तुम अगर अकेले कहीं पे हुए तो कैसे करोगे यू नो जस्ट लाइक वी एनकरेज गर्ल्स टू लर्न ड्राइविंग एज एज अ लाइफ स्किल आई थिंक इट इज द राइट टाइम टू एनकरेज बॉयज टू लर्न कुकिंग एज अ लाइफ स्किल यू नो एंड वीमेन हु आर एट होम ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन बिफोर दे थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर इमोशनल नीड्स टू बी फुलफिल्ड आई थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन द फिजिकल नीड्स टू बी फुलफिल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ separating and delegating work to all members of the household especially the children you know they they are at a good age where they like uh, helping people where they like being uh, uh, feeling like grown ups so uh, that is the first step they can start with yeah this is excellent what you just said so uh, tell me dr satyan how do women change the victim mindset and take charge of their lives राइट ये ये जो आपका क्वेश्चन है इट्स एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ अगेन द द कल्चरल कंडीशनिंग विच विच वीमेन गो थ्रू हमारे यहाँ पे एनकरेज किया जाता है वीमेन को इनफैक्ट उनको मेडल दिए जाते हैं सोशल तारीफ की जाती है कि वे बहुत अच्छी मदर हैं है ना ये तो जी हमारे हिंदी फिल्मों में देख लीजिए आप आपको अगर माँ याद आएगी तो आपको वही माँ याद आएगी जो त्याग की मूर्ति है राइट एंड एंड दैट्स अ वेरी डेंजरस माइंडसेट इट्स 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 नॉट अ रियलिस्टिक पिक्चर इट्स नॉट 
an aspirational picture which i think modern women should uh, think in terms of right so ye usi ki extension hai kyunki aap tyag ki murti hain to uska exact diametrically opposite fir wo banega ki aap ab victim hain right what we want is like the very wise uh, gautam buddha said is the middle path so you are a human being with 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 uh, human expectations on you right and then if you are uh, in the middle path in the very beginning if you have not gone on to the end of becoming a tyagi murti there are very low chances that you will swing to the other end of becoming a victim so uh, in any relationship especially in a marriage i think it, it makes sense if the woman uh, decides that she is not going to be a tyagi murti she is also going to look after her own happiness her own growth in that relationship and then i think she is much better placed to not become a victim of that system it's very rightly said that uh, self care is the need of the hour agar hum khud hi apna mindset ko change hi nahi karenge to nobody i think uh, kitne bhi hum sessions le it gets very difficult yes. so uh, you just put it very nicely yes. and uh, so what is real empowerment women empowerment according to you real women empowerment and uh, again i had promised i'd only talk practical things right real women empowerment like empowerment anywhere in the world in any section of society is economic empowerment once women are able to be economically independent once they are able to earn on their own and have this faith in themselves that yes they can look after themselves you know and then of course the second part comes in outgrowing the cultural uh, handicaps which which society many a times places upon women right so first part is definitely being financially independent i would i would say that you know being uh, working and earning your own money should be the first goal of any human being on the planet and then later on we can work on other things right breaking mindsets and you know uh, maturing up and that a revolution that happens within if when when you are ready you know to to uh, when 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 you have gone through a certain cycle and and understood that it is being unfair to you right and then you can probably think in terms of a emancipation of women if they are financially independent first That's awesome what you just said, Dr. Satin. Dr. Satin, our foundation. Me, we are working with a lot of women. Uh, normally, mostly, जिनके बच्चे बाहर पढ़ने चले गए हैं या uh, due to bad health, uh, husbands are busy. Normally, उनकी भी गलती नहीं है क्योंकि उनको तो पैसे कमाने ही हैं अगर वो business में हैं या job में हैं और अगर आपने बहुत सालों से काम नहीं किया है तो हमारे बहुत सी ऐसी queries आती हैं since you work with uh, uh, you know addiction. Uh, आपका डी एडिक्शन का भी बहुत एक्सपीरियंस है सो वी हैव कपल ऑफ क्वेरीज जहाँ पे विमेन हैव टेकन टू सब्सटेंस यूज टू कीप अवे डिप्रेशन सो उसके बारे में आप बताइए व्हाट इज द एक्सटेंडेड हेल्प दे कैन सीक आउट डेफिनेटली आपको तो रीच आउट करेंगे ही वो आई है uh even uh in a in a in a uh in a hidden way substance abuse has been in women you know if if you look at it a little uh, uh with, with a microscope you will you will find that yes there have been times when women have been encouraged to take a tablet of alprax and just you know rest ke baad aapko neend achhi aa jayegi and i meet so many women who are dependent on that alprax over time you know on on these chemical uh, uh, sleeping pills and other things and over time they have de- developed dependence on that you know because well there is no emotional outlet there is there is no say in the day to day workings of uh, their own lives and then of course that will lead to frustration and then what uh, i see is a reaction formation so reaction formation is अगर मर्द लोग ये करते हैं तो मैं भी यही करूंगा 
then they also define their independence is equal to drinking. So that is another uh, unhealthy reaction formation. Whereas the, the healthy way of dealing with your own uh, condition in, in, in such a place would be to pick up more skills for yourself, pick up better coping skills for yourself, pick up more work skills for yourself, find happiness in doing something, in creating something. You know, that is what women should be aiming at. Alcohol and drugs are short term and a negative way and an immature way of dealing with the stresses. Men also do it, women also do it, and both of them need to find better ways. That's a wonderful solution which you have given, that skills uh, enhance karo, and that is what we do at our foundation also, and uh, since you've also come on board, so we will help you more. But what is the reason, Dr. Satyan, do you think, why women feel underloved? I'm specifically talk, talking about women because we have queries from women. That's why I'm asking you. Yes. Well, as we have our culture and societal setup, which we describe as a whole-pradhan society. Right? So, that autonomy, when it is taken away from any person, any human being, definitely they will feel undervalued, underloved, unappreciated. They will also feel that they are, you know, one of those uh, pains which I have seen many a times is that I am not able to reach my potential. I am not able to do things I am capable of doing because अच्छे घर की लड़कियां या औरतें काम नहीं करती या ये काम नहीं करती, right? So, so I I can completely empathize with that, and there is no one solution which fits everybody. I think everybody needs to find their own solutions to that. People need to find creative solutions to that. Uh, people need to find solutions which don't uh, go at loggerheads with patriarchy straight on because then it it becomes another chapter of you know pushable uh, on both sides what we need as and i think what women are definitely equipped to do is to find creative solutions you know so that needs to happen and uh, yes i i can again your question coming back to it yes there is a uh, feeling of being unloved, feeling of being underappreciated. And I can completely empathize with that. And many times even I feel unable to help in that. So uh, there is no easy solution. I that we are trying to stop this thing, so its reaction comes from any way to any age. Ke baad. That is what you are trying to say. And if we get busy with the skills and uh, you know enhance your more learning uh, you know, uh, areas, so probably we will busy and we will be happy. Absolutely. And we will be creative expression. Bhi hoga iske I think uh, this session is probably for me today. Because <laughs> there uh, are so many changes aate in life that you, know, you want that someone will understand your story. And you explained it just beautifully, Dr. Sahib. So uh, tell me something uh, that, uh, more. You say, uh, 40 to 60 के बीच की जो एज होती है जिसमें सबसे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेशंस हेल्थ कॉम्प्लिकेशंस मेनोपॉज यू नो वुमेन आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजंस कि वो अनलव वाली फीलिंग आती है तो यू थिंक कि डूइंग रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज आपको लगता है और कोई एडेड सॉल्यूशन जो अपार्ट फ्रॉम गेटिंग स्पिरिचुअल या कुछ ऐसी क्या मेडिसिंस भी होती हैं जो आपको खुश रख पाते हैं ऐसा है क्या वेल अगर आप डायग्नोस्ड हैं विद डिप्रेशन, फिर डेफिनेटली मेडिसिंस विल हेल्प। ओके। जैसे आप कह रही हैं कि मिनोपॉज, राइट? सो मिनोपॉज इज अ हार्मोनल शिफ्ट इन द बॉडीज। और आजकल आई थिंक देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ हार्मोन रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपीज व्हिच आर रेकमेंडेड बाय डॉक्टर्स, यू नो टू टेक केयर ऑफ age frame which you have mentioned between 40 to 60 women also experience something else you know wherein uh, their focus their entire energy has been on their children and usually during this time children have flown the nest 
you know, they have either uh, pursuing their uh, higher educations or gone into a career or probably settled down into a married life. So women also experience at this point what is also called as the empty nest syndrome, right? So this empty nest syndrome is again a consequence of not having put your own life and happiness as a priority during those years when you were told that that makes you a good mother. You know, so uh, I think uh, children also gain by this. Children don't need constant mothering. I see so much of anxiety. panic attack in the entire natural world, in the entire animal world, But we somehow seem to have created this. Uh, a huge thing that mothers feel that their parenting is not complete until unless their child is well fed regularly all three times right and i, I many times during my parenting workshops i tell them okay well you you you've given birth to the smartest species on this planet it is not going to starve to death if food is available right so do trust your kids to be more autonomous and and do trust uh, that the goal of your parenting is to make your children independent. Yeah, every animal does that except us. But women tie their happiness to playing that again, that particular, uh, you know, ideal of a ideal mother who has to be there sitting on the table all three meals. And then when suddenly those kids are not there, she feels as if there is no purpose to life now. And that's being cruel to yourself. Creating purpose happens. 20 years earlier. It does not happen once the children have gone. Then it becomes a, a more difficult process. Not that it cannot happen. It can definitely happen. But you are not used to making yourself and your happiness as the priority. And that becomes a challenge. And learning that skill at that age many a times proves difficult. So I think uh, we should, women especially, should not uh shy away from this label of being called selfish i think they need to be a little more selfish they are not selfish enough that's a superb uh, uh, way to explain uh, dr satyan uh, maybe request the participants to ask uh, because uh, dr saab kabhi kabhi aise hat mein aayenge open forum <laughs> so in case anybody wants to they can their people uh, Rashiji, I think uh, I, I need to thank you for creating this platform, you know, for uh, giving voice to, you know, uh, so many ideas and uh, realities which I see in my consultation chamber every day, but I have no way of actually going out to the world and telling them that. So I think this 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 is a great platform, and even I would love to come here again and then talk about you know deep root cause analysis, and then uh, you know finding creative solutions to that. We are definitely coming back. We have a lot of queries. So Ruchika is um, asking a question. So there is a fine line between empowerment and feminism. How does one differenti differentiate? Right. So. Like several words, uh, I think we, we, we lose it in the basics, in the definitions, right? Feminism as an idea was about women being given equal opportunity and rights as men. That was the premise. But yes, it took a little militant path, you know, wherein it became that modern feminism as is understood is being anti-men you know and it was never that to begin with and i think again this question reflects the same uh, you know confusion or uh, difficulty in understanding the very basic of what feminism actually is you know i i consider myself a feminist you know because i believe men and women are equal they have they should have equal rights equal responsibilities and equal access to all ways and means of happiness to as individuals. So uh, feminism, I, I'm all for it, uh, but let's understand feminism in the right way. And, and it's not a bad word actually. 
So there is a added question to what Ruchika is asking that how does one empower oneself without being called a feminist? So again, yeah. as I said, labels should not bother you. आपने वो पंचतंत्र में कहानी सुनी है जहाँ पे एक पिता और पुत्र जो है एक गधा खरीदने जाते हैं मार्केट में and they are walking back with their donkey and people are saying अरे they are such stupid people they have a donkey and both of them are walking so both of them sat on the donkey then people said अरे such cruel people both of them sitting on the donkey then the father said the son was walking and people said अरे जवान son is walking and old father is making him walk then they switch the situation and then everybody said अरे look at the son he is sitting on the donkey making the old father walk right in the end they ended up carrying the donkey on 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 you know some bamboo strips which 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 they <laughs> tied it on and the story does not have a happy ending right so i think wohi sabse bada rog ke kya kahenge log we should not be so worried about societal labels because society is not fair many times most of the times so if you can uh what the story tells you is that there is no escaping a label you will always be labeled but you have to understand what works for you we are individuals we are not a high we are not uh people with a high identity we are social animals but we are individuals at the same time our beauty is in our individuality not in our sameness right so one has to find what their own truth is what works for them what makes them happy and be a little thick skin to what society has to say kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kya bahut bhaiya aapne bataya there is another question doctor from uh, pia singh she is asking that why is it difficult for men to handle independent women because they they don't uh, they have they have not seen that image of a woman they have seen a strong woman who is worshiped worshiped in a in a temple but in the house they have not seen a strong woman they have seen a woman who uh, is seen as and not heard you know they have seen a woman and uh, the image of a woman and the place of a woman which is ke ghar ki aurtein apni seema mein rahe right it is it is it is a uh, it is not their fault it is their cultural condition they are not used to working with uh, opinionated women know what they want they are not used to working with women who are good at what they do and are good enough to understand that yes they need to be treated equally and fairly and professionally for it so it is uh, those poor boys you know they have they have not seen reality and when it hits them it hits them rather hard i, I have all my sympathies for them because this this is not going to stop you know women are becoming better at trades and things and moving up in the world and uh, uh, either these boys will adapt or or they will be pushed to the side my my sympathy is and best wishes are with them so that's what we do at our foundation we make women more stronger we provide strength at broken places we are really thankful to dr satyan for giving his precious time we've taken his time away from the patients today um hame pata hai aap bahut busy rehte hain aur thank you so much doc sir and all the participants and our followers if you have questions for dr satyan please write to us at chair at the red rabbi rashi dot in he will surely get back to you and we are also floating his email id on the uh, on this post kindly write to him he will surely get back to you thank you so much thank you rashi ji it's been a pleasure and uh, more more part to you thank you definitely definitely so